Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. I, I am shook. I am shook to my very core. The news I found out is just disturbing and sickening. I finished my work early, right? I've done my painting and left it to dry, so I've come home. My mum and my sister obviously aren't expecting me. As soon as I get to the house, I can hear their laughter drifting out. Manic laughter. Not even through the front bloody door and I can hear them like a gaggle of bloody geese. What must the bloody neighbours think? Anyway, they're laughing so loud they didn't even hear me come in. As soon as I go through the front door, they're to hide something, hide something from me. I'm straight over there and I grab it. It's a picture. It's a picture of me as a child, a young boy, four years old, and I'm dressed as a girl. Dressed as a bloody girl at this party. All right, there's a backstory to this, right? When I was about 15 years old, I found all these old baby pictures of me. Of me. I look through them and I'm dressed in like pink bonnets and little, little dumb, good girly baby clothes. I went to my dad and said, what the hell is this, dad? Why am I dressed in girls' baby clothes in these pictures? And he sits me down and he explains, oh, it's, oh, don't worry, Carol, you're just, you're, your mum was really hoping for a girl and she bought these girls' clothes and stuff. I said, well, we're poor, why don't you just buy some boys' clothes? He said, well, she had the baby blues and she just really enjoyed dressing you up for a while. I said, what the Dressed up as a baby, as a girl. Anyway, anyway, my dad said it stopped before I was a year old. It was all over. I, was, I, I made a very uneasy peace with it. You know, it was just, fine, I was just a baby. I'm not a girl, I'm a boy. Anyway, so now I'm finding a picture of me, four years old, dressed as a girl. With this incredibly long curly hair that I had back then. And big ribbon in it. Lipstick on my face. Clip-on earrings on me. And I just... Pearl bloody neckness round my neck. I said to my mum, what the hell is this? Do I have to dress as a girl? I was told they finished before I was even one years old. And she's just laughing about it, not even taking it seriously. She's telling me to chill out. Apparently there was a party. She'd have a few glasses of wine. She'd done it for a laugh. That's how she's entertaining her party guest. Parading me round, dressed as a girl in her drunken state. I'm not a girl, I'm a boy. I was a little boy. How does your mother do that? It's disgusting. It's child abuse. It's bloody child abuse. And I'm saying this to her. What the hell are you doing? And she's still, she's just laughing. She said, you loved it. You were getting devil to call you Kelly. What do you mean I loved it? She said, I got so excited that I had to be put to bed before the end of the party because I pulled down my trousers, stuffed my little winky between my legs. I was pretending I was a girl telling her to look at me. Doing that whole mangina thing where your winkle's stuck between your legs and you look like you've got a vagina. Everyone at a party is looking at me doing that. That is humiliating. It's humiliating. I'm just trying to get it through to her. What the hell have you done to me? That's a form of child abuse and still... Oh, and the worst to come, worst to bloody come, right? I'm saying it to her. What the hell are you doing? And she said, oh, you loved it. You did far worse things when you were young. Oh, God, here we go. Go on, give me the truth then. Give me the whole dirty truth. It turns out when I was five or six years old, this is embarrassing, I used to have a bath, right? And I used to rub my little Willy Wonka, my little Winkle with a sponge and give myself a little rudimentary erection. And I used to call everyone in to look. I used to say I was a magician. Look at my magic trick. Look at my magic trick. I've made it grow. So what the hell? What did you do? Why were you letting me do that? What did you do about it, mum? So no, we thought it was hilarious. We used to call everyone in. Whenever your auntie was there, your uncle, your grandma... I'm wanking off in front of a family! How's that hilarious? It's perverted, it's wrong! Oh my god, and all the way through this, like my sister's there. My slutty little sister Amy. She cannot control herself. She's got tears rolling down her face with laughter. She can barely breathe, she's gagging on it. Oh, it makes a change that you're not gagging on bloody man meat, you slutty little. Enable her, enabling my mother to abuse, and she's accepting none of it. She said, Oh, it all stopped by the time my guy, your sisters, by the time my girls came. Oh, well, that's great. They all had it normal, and I, well, I had that. I'm, 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 I'm beyond fuming. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I'm out of here.